Hey, you ready for it? For the next five days, I'm gonna be attempting to fast for Ramadan. So what is Ramadan? Ramadan is the ninth month of the Muslim year where Muslims abstain from food, drink, cigarettes and intimacy from dawn until dusk for 30 days. And for what I've been reading, it seems like it's more of a spiritual thing than a physical thing. By giving up the physical things that you always rely on, gives you a chance to look at yourself deeper on a spiritual level. It's almost like a spiritual cleanse, not just about not eating. The same way that doing 419 and then going to church doesn't really work. I know a lot of you are thinking, but gay, you're not Muslim, so uh, why are you doing it? My answer is this, all right? So there's a lot of Muslims that watch my channel, yeah? So there's a lot of them going through Ramadan at the moment. And it's really easy to kind of just put out information and you're like, oh, if I was in that situation, I would do this. All right, so show me. Oh, shit. I mean, like, if, because... Theoretic, if you you do you get him to do you wait do let's avoid that yeah so I'm just gonna try it now, I've actually done a Ramadan video probably about two or three years ago where I talked about my theories behind it. my whole theory was damage control when it comes to the gym you're not looking to put on more muscle you're not looking to get shredded you're looking at damage control and as with any kind of like challenge video or whatever there's always going to be one douchebag in the comments that's going to be like oh we well, should have done the full 30 days oh we well, should have done 21 days oh five days isn't enough to shut up sick of your sh there is one thing that might be an issue with this whole process. So recently I've been experiencing like acid reflux, IBS type conditions in my stomach. So we'll see how this goes. But just letting you know, just warning you, you know? And so he begins drafting his master plan. <laughs> Let's start riding. My flow spring is hiding. My John Cochran, break your pride in. Okay, so here's the plan. Nine o'clock, gonna break the fast with dates. Then gonna have an air fried chicken, rice, and veg meal. Then head to the gym for 9 30. One hour later. Get home, bang a protein shake, easy to digest. Probably couscous, veg and chicken, keep the fiber levels accurate. Probably add some healthy fats in there as well. Walk around for a little bit, let it digest. Aim for bed around 11.30, up at 4.15. Crunching up, banana, peanut butter, protein shake, and probably some other stuff to just fill up my belly. And of course, drink a hell of a lot of water and that's it easy as pie you know what to do smash the ting yeah and if you need supplements there's 35 percent off my protein using link in the description i'm hungry i'm hum i'm i just <laughs> I am hungry, <laughs> I am hungry and I am thirsty and I, I, mate, when it was like around about 9 o'clock, maybe even 8.30, I was like, I got this, easy, it's not that long, it's only just over 12 hours, only. Do you think daddy can do it? Yeah? You don't look very convinced. Nice to know that family has your back. So anyway, take my mind off things. That I think that's what I just need to occupy my mind with loads of other stuff and just try and not think about the food and water side of things. I'm hungry, I want some food. I'm hungry and I want some flipping food. I can't do this. <laughs> when they get that big, they're, they're not cute anymore. <laughs> oh, I need to come in. Pick up, pick up, pick up. You look too big. That means it's time for eating. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> My gosh. <laughs> 
<laughs> Sometimes I get a coffee or some next one I can't say properly. I'm so hungry I'm biting my lips. Flipping I'll just get a portion of chips. I didn't think you were gonna do it, you know, if I'm honest. But yeah. <laughs> to be honest, you get used to it. But it's one of those things where you um you need to be disciplined basically. But you'll be fine though. You your body gets used to it very quickly. The hardest bit is getting through lunch because you're usually used to eating something at that time. So I don't know, like it's a psychological thing where your body tells itself, your mind tells itself, oh yeah, it's lunchtime, I'm hungry. But once you get used to that, it becomes much easier. Thanks, bro. This isn't the first thing that I've picked up from this from this whole process. A learning experience, so to speak. Rather than trying to wish time away, try and focus your energy more on what can actually help you in the long run. Kind of thing. Be more focused, like have, have more focus on, on things. I don't know. That's just the first observation, thought, slash, whatever. I'm hungry. Ah! I'm just... Oh, it's pissing me off now. I just want to eat, just want to eat, don't care about nothing else, I just want to eat. <laughs> Seven o'clock, two hours left. I'm gonna start prepping my food at 8.30, which I'm excited about. <laughs> oh, mate. I don't know how people do this for 30 days. I really don't. <laughs> it's time. It's time to eat. I'm gonna break my fast the traditional way. So I've got the dates right here. And then I'm gonna have some water. I've got this big uh, my protein jug, which I think is about four liters. So I'm gonna aim to get through that before the fast starts again. I've never had dates before either. I don't even know what they taste like. I know Joe Delaney is like mad on them, but how have I not tried these before? Oh, I feel so good. <laughs> 200 grams of chicken, 100 grams of rice, and then veg mixed in with the rest. I had to stop myself from turning into like Hangry gape, like that's more terrifying than a hulk. Meal done, now it's time to train. Oh my gosh, I feel splendiferous. Yeah? yeah you like that word? <laughs> so kind of on schedule, I signed up to the gym group, which used to be Easy Gym, the one that I used to go to in West Croydon, just so I can train at these times, because I don't think King's Opens past like, 10 or whatever. I love the way your nose look good and your body look cute. Yeah, I love the way it's like that. Hands up in the clouds on my mountain top. Yeah, I love the way. The one thing I have noticed is the urge to want to go hard because that's all you've been doing for God knows how long. But it's resisting that urge and kind of playing it by ear. So it's not so much about ruling out, like, you know, that going hard in your workouts and stuff because. Some people might be able to handle it. Um, it's just one of those things that you have to honestly play by ear, I feel. But again, it's just the first day, so we'll see what happens. All right, so we have got 200 grams of chicken uh, with a satay sauce. I've also added 10 ml of olive oil, lemon and coriander couscous, and some of the baby corn from earlier, along with one of these. I actually had one already, so this will be the second one. So far, the whole acid reflux and uh, IBS stuff is, is subdued. So, um, touch wood. I bid you good morrow, my fine people of YouTube Wade. Today feels better. Today feels a bit better. What's funny is I had a really short eating window, right? And still managed to clock up 3,000 calories. Nah. I ate way more dates than I, was, I think I was meant to. They're, they're so tasty though. They're so flipping tasty. I actually feel really good today. 
apart from the fact that I really just want to have a drink of water, like my energy levels are quite sustained and it was actually quite a productive morning. I got a lot of stuff done that I've been putting off. In the car. All right, take it back. Started feeling like dizzy spells, which is what happened yesterday, but happened a lot earlier. So I guess that, that feeling is getting pushed back. Do you, do you think that you're gonna do? Yeah? I was just about to put my food in and the air fryer wasn't working. I, the rage that just went through my head if that air fryer didn't work. <laughs> I get in that IBS trapped wind feeling, which I thought I had escaped. <sighs> oh. It's not like really bad, but and today, this morning of all mornings, I've got a really important meeting this morning, and <sighs> probably the worst time for it to happen. And it normally happens at night, it never happens in the morning. So it's like, what are you trying to do to me? But this time yesterday, I think it was yesterday, I was like sat down a lot of the time. So I was like editing and doing stuff like that. Today, <sighs> doing a lot today. My mouth has been so dry all day. We got this through and through to the end. Today was quite possibly the hardest day so far. Even when it came to breaking my fast, the camera was there. I did not care. I didn't want to pick up the camera for shit because I knew it was going to delay my eating time. That was quite possibly the worst workout over the past few days. Hear that lion's... Wilson, where are you? Final day. <laughs> oh my goodness. Just had breakfast. Drink a bit more water, then I'm going back to sleep. I'm really flagging today, and I think that's for one reason. I didn't eat as well as I could have done yesterday. Yeah, yesterday was just complete. Bleh. So the challenge is pretty much done. I'm ready to break my fast for the last time. I can't say I'm not happy about it, but big up and I rate all of the Muslims that do this for 30 days. Especially including the prayer as well. I didn't do any of the prayer stuff like, yeah. But just a few things that I think I've taken away and you can also take away from this experience. Number one, I don't think the not eating and drinking was a problem because I was hitting my calories for the day and I was hitting my water for the day. I think it was the sleep, the lack of sleep that was mounting up. So I'm thinking maybe if I had more naps during the day, but then it's a lot harder with like Elijah around and stuff like that. So yeah, that's number one. Number two, keep myself busy. Like I, I saw that there was increased focus on like the tasks that I was doing until, until I got really hungry. But before that, it was great. Number three, the quality of my food increased because I wanted to make sure that I was getting the best kind of nutrition to sustain me through the day. So like the whole IBS acid reflux type of thing, apart from that one day, which is kind of like borderline, it wasn't as bad as it was, it kind of dissipated. Number four, like I said in the beginning, I feel the training is more about damage control. You're just looking to preserve as much as you can for that 30 days because the sleep deprivation is what's the killer. So I guess my tip here would be put as much stress as possible onto the muscles without exhausting yourself, if that makes sense. So I did like, what, two sets of, two sets of five on the compound movements and then just little bits here and there, nothing major damage control. But it was interesting. I could see the benefits of doing it for 30 days, including the prayer and stuff, but I am done. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit the like button, smash the thing, yeah. Don't forget to subscribe, 
hit the notification bell. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.